massive crystals, strange stalagmites, and unusual geological oddities. These are some of Earth's formations that look vastly different than anything else around. Join me as we take a look at 15 of the most strange geological formations. Number 15. Pamukkale If you want to go for a swim of a lifetime, then I suggest checking out Pamukkale. Located in southwestern Turkey, it's a natural cascading fountain that has striking white walls and pure blue water. The waters come from ancient hot springs that spill down the white travertine cliff face, and over thousands of years this water has formed countless round pools. Due to this water being both warm and rich in minerals such as calcium, the area was used as an outdoor bathhouse during Roman times. And while much of the area is now a protected UNESCO World Heritage Site, you can still relax in these incredible baths today. Number 14. The Giant's Causeway While most beaches have either white, gold, black, or red sand, the Giant's Causeway is a little bit different. That's because it's essentially a beach that's filled with thousands of interlocking hexagon-shaped rocks. More specifically, the area consists of about 40,000 basalt columns. And according to local legends, they were once part of a causeway created by warrior Finn McCool and a Scottish giant so that they could fight each other. However, geologists state otherwise. They believe that they were created thanks to volcanic lava cooling and fracturing into the basalt columns you see today. In any case, if you ever travel to Northern Ireland, I suggest giving the Giant's Causeway a visit. Number 13. Moraki Boulders The Moraki Boulders are unusually large and spherical boulders lying along a stretch of Koe Koe Beach on the coast of New Zealand. They're scattered either as isolated rocks or clusters of boulders, with many weighing several tons and being up to two meters in height. Scientists believe that the boulders formed as calcite concretions formed about 65 million years ago, with this occurring thanks to the hardening of the Pliocene mudstone, which was buried in the nearby mudstone cliffs. Over time, the sea's waves have gradually eroded the softer stone to reveal the spherical formations beneath, leading to the beautiful display of boulders that we see today. However, the constant pounding of the Pacific Ocean is contributing to the slow disintegration of the boulders, so if you're interested in marveling at their spherical splendor, be sure to visit sometime within the next 20,000 years. Number 12. Eisfriesenwelt The Eisfriesenwelt is a natural limestone and ice cave located in Würfen, Austria. More specifically, it's inside the Hochkogel mountain in the Alps and holds the record for being the world's largest ice cave. Extending for more than 42 kilometers, it was formed by the Salschak River, which eroded passageways into the mountain. From there, thawing snow which drained into the cave and froze created these beautiful ice formations, making it an absolutely incredible spot to see. Today, it's visited by about 200,000 tourists every year, and because it's a protected natural monument, development of the cave has been extremely cautious in order to preserve its unique natural beauty and ecosystem. As a result, tourists can only visit the first of the cave's 42 kilometers, and this ensures that the remaining 41 can remain protected. However, if you do decide to visit, be sure to bring a jacket, as the cave stays icy cold all year round. Number 11. The White Desert While Egypt is most well known for its mummies, pyramids, and luxury resorts, what often gets overlooked is the country's most spectacular landscapes. Of these, the White Desert National Park stands out. Known as Sahara El Beda, it's located 45 kilometers north of the town of Farafra, and it's truly a sight to behold. People touring the desert have often felt like they're visiting another planet, and this is because it's filled with dramatic and unusual rock formations. The desert's white sand and white rocks are composed of either white calcium, quartz crystals, or limestone, and in many places the quartz sand appears like snow that's frosted the desert. These white quartz crystals have created several unique picturesque rock shapes, and while this makes the white desert scenic, it's also jam-packed with activities such as dune bashing, sandboarding, and even kayaking or mountain biking in the desert's Baharia oasis. As a result, I highly recommend going to the white desert if you ever get a chance to visit Egypt. Number 10. Ayers Rock, Australia While the Australian outback is known for being mostly flat, Ayers Rock is anything but that. It's also known as Uluru by the indigenous community. It's part of a giant sandstone formation that stands at 348 meters in height and has a perimeter of about 9.5 kilometers. 
It first began to form about 500 million years ago as part of a large mountain range, but since the area had no plant cover, it quickly eroded, causing sediment to flow away or build up into smaller stone formations, with Uluru being chief among them. Now, if you plan on visiting, you should be aware that climbing it was banned in 2019 to respect the indigenous people that consider the rock to be sacred, but it can still be enjoyed by walking around its base. However, if you do visit, be sure to bring some sunscreen as the area around Uluru is hot all year round. Number 9. The Rishat Structure The Rishat Structure, which is better known as the Blue Eye of the Sahara, is a geological formation in the western Sahara Desert that resembles an enormous bullseye. Located in Mauritania, it's 40 kilometers long, and while it was known only by local nomadic tribes for centuries, it was photographed for the first time in the 1960s by Project Gemini astronauts who used it as a landmark. Later, satellites took additional images and provided information about its dimensions, and originally, geologists believed that it was an impact crater. However, later studies of the rock inside the structure showed that its origins are entirely Earth-based. And so geologists have instead concluded that the Eye of the Sahara is a geological dome with rocks that are at least 100 million years old, with some even predating the appearance of life on Earth. These rocks include igneous or volcanic deposits, as well as sedimentary layers. Today, the Eye of the Sahara attracts both tourists and geologists alike. However, because it's located in a sparsely inhabited region of the desert with very little water or rainfall, accessing it is quite challenging. Number 8. The Crystal Cave If you ever manage to get the chance to travel to Mexico's Chihuahuan Desert, you can admire one of the world's most spectacular geographical discoveries. Buried 300 meters below the Nica Mountain, it was discovered in April of 2000 by brothers Juan and Pedro Sanchez while drilling in the nearby mine. Nicknamed the Sistine Chapel of Crystals, the cave has drawn researchers from around the world, enticing them with both its rare beauty and scientific mystery. It contains some of the largest natural crystals ever found, with these being really massive, milky white translucent gypsum beams that are up to 11 meters long, 1 meter wide, and weighing up to 55 tons. Because these crystal pillars, which are more than 500,000 years old, have been buried beneath the Earth for years, they've had the opportunity to continue growing undisturbed. The temperature of the crystal cave can be as high as 50 degrees Celsius, while the humidity ranges from 90 to 100 percent. Therefore, it comes as no surprise that human beings cannot survive there for longer than two hours, yet given how precious its crystals are, this is probably for the best. Number 7. The Chocolate Hills at first glance, the chocolate hills of the Philippines may look like they came straight out of a fantasy novel. However, they don't, in fact, contain a single bit of chocolate, and instead consist of 1,776 hills spread across an area of more than 50 square kilometers. These hills are made up of limestone and are anywhere between 30 to 50 meters in height. They get their name from the grass that grows on them, and while it's lush and green during the wet season, it turns brown and barren during the dry season, making the area look like an expansive lumped chocolate. However, beyond the aesthetics, the chocolate hills are also quite mysterious, as no one knows exactly how they were made, with some leading theories that are it either formed from a weathering of the limestone mountains or it was created after an ancient volcano self-destructed and dispersed itself all over the region. In any case, I'd say that no matter what caused them to be formed, the Chocolate Hills look like a delectable place to visit. Number 6. Mount Roraima Mount Roraima is a spectacular giant flat-topped mountain, or mesa, in the Pacaraima Mountains. Located at the point where the boundaries of Brazil, Venezuela, and Guiana meet, the mountain is 14 kilometers long and 2,700 meters high. The waters in the area feed into many important rivers such as the Amazon and Orinoco. Now, what's incredible about Mount Moraima is that it's surrounded by cliffs that are over 400 meters high, and this funnels the local moisture into fog and clouds that make the mountain look like an island floating in the sky. If that wasn't enough, it's covered with strange rock formations, quartz fields, unique animals, strange plants, and high waterfalls, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. Dating back some two billion years, the tabletop mountain of Roraima is one of the oldest geological formations on Earth. 
the mountain was created thanks to millions of years of erosion of its sandstone and igneous rock base. And while it's been well known by indigenous tribes for centuries, it was first discovered by Europeans when English explorer Sir Walter Raleigh found it during an expedition in 1595. Ever since that event, Mount Roraima has been an inspiration for writers and movie makers from across the globe. Number 5. The Xilin Forest While most forests are made up of trees, the Xilin Forest stands apart for being made out of an entirely different material. That's because it consists of thousands upon thousands of rocks that are densely packed together, making visitors feel as if they're walking through a forest where all the trees have frozen into stone. Spanning across an area of 300 square kilometers, this 270 million year old forest is essentially a massive karst deposit where soluble stones such as limestone, dolomite, and gypsum dissolved via erosion, with seismic activity, water, and wind being the main culprits behind this erosion. Yet while every stone within Shilin is unique, none quite have as much mystique surrounding them as the Ashima stone. You see, legend has it that it was formed after a beautiful Sani girl by the name of Ashima ran into the forest and was turned into stone after being forbidden to marry the man she loved. In order to recognize this tragedy, the local Sani people still go into the Shilin forest every June 24th in order to participate in the annual Torch Festival. This festival is pretty exciting, as it features everything from wrestling to bullfighting. Number 4. Fairy Chimneys While fairy chimneys may look like the creation of a magical little creature, they are in fact an entirely natural phenomenon. In essence, fairy chimneys were formed when volcanic eruptions spewed ash across Turkey's Cappadocia region millions of years ago, leaving behind solidified material known as tuff. Eventually, this tuff was layered with harder rock known as basalt, and as erosion wore away at the tuff and basalt deposits, a large array of natural pillars that are pockmarked with caves were made. Unsurprisingly, it didn't take long for humans to catch wind of these caves, and thus over the centuries they've seen a variety of different uses. Most notably due to the tuff inside the fairy chimneys being easy to excavate, early Christians often found refuge in them, as they would place their homes and churches within them in order to avoid persecution by Roman authorities. However, even after the Roman Empire legalized Christianity, the fairy chimneys continued to be used as a place to shelter from invading Persian, Greek, and Turkish armies at various points through history. Today, the site's used primarily as a tourist attraction, as the chimneys have been given the honor of being a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As a result, these fantastic fairy chimneys now receive tourists from around the world all year round. Number 3. Antelope Canyon While the Grand Canyon is by far Arizona's most famous canyon, the nearby Antelope Canyon is its underrated younger cousin. It stands apart for being a slot canyon, which means that while it's very deep, it's not very wide, giving it a unique shape. It was formed into the red sandstone after millions of years by wind and rain, and it's named the Antelope Canyon thanks to local Navajo stories regarding pronghorn antelopes that once roamed the area. Interestingly, the canyon is considered to be sacred by the Navajo, and as a result, it can only be visited if you're on a Navajo-led guided tour. While the canyon is about 607 meters long, the 200 meter long Upper Antelope Canyon is the most popular route, as it's here that the most sunlight enters. It's also far easier to hike, as there's ground level entry that makes it quite accessible. While the Lower Antelope Canyon isn't as bright, it's just as gorgeous, as it has swirling sandstone walls and terrain that's perfect for those who want to navigate a longer, sandier hike in and out of the canyon. In any case, either choice is great, and if you want the best conditions possible, it's advisable that you visit between the end of March and the beginning of October, between the hours of 11 and 1.30 p.m., which is the point in time in which Antelope Canyon's light beams are the most beautiful and bright. Number 2. The Blue Grotto The Almalfi Coast is easily one of Italy's most popular destinations, and the Blue Grotto, which is a sea cave located on the coastal island of Capri, is one of the most famous natural attractions. Only accessible by boat, it's an underwater cavity with the perfect amount of space to let in sunlight. This creates a blue reflection that illuminates the cavern, making it a beautiful place to take pictures. However, beyond its looks, the Blue Grotto acoustics are also second to none, making it a cool spot to shoot a video in. In any case, the grotto itself is 25 meters wide, 60 meters long, and has an entrance that's less than a meter high, with this all being formed by sea waves that eroded the island's limestone rock. 
It first became well known during the 18th century, although it was largely avoided by sailors and islanders because it was said to be inhabited by witches and monsters. However, it's become far more popular today, although can be a little tricky getting in. This is because to enter, visitors lay back in wooden rowboats and glide through the low cave mouth, with this only being possible when the sea is calm. Once inside, the boats bob in the dark, suspended on the surface of the blue water. Visitors are unfortunately not allowed to enter the water in the grotto, although once the official rowboats and ticket offices close at 5.30 p.m., many make the most of this opportunity by sneaking in and swimming around. However, I'd certainly not recommend you do the same, as the high waves can easily slam swimmers against the stone of the low cave mouth. Number 1. Precariously Balanced Rocks When it comes to rock formations, the precariously balanced variety seem to defy the laws of physics, and be it a massive rock balancing atop a small one or a rock being on the edge of a cliff, these spectacular specimens, which are known as precariously balanced rocks, or PBRs for short, certainly are strange. Now, PBRs are found worldwide, but some stand out more than others. For example, in Colorado Springs, there's a 290 million year old red sandstone boulder naturally perched on a slope ledge that's known as balanced rock. In Finland, there's a 7 meter long boulder that lies on a convex bedrock surface known as kumakivi, or strange stone. And in Goblin Valley State Park in Utah, there are thousands of hoodoos, which are mushroom-shaped rock pinnacles that are often several meters tall and are typically very oddly shaped. Yet while these freaks of the natural world may be fascinating to look at, it turns out that PBRs also have a lot of scientific value as well. That's because while they may be perfectly balanced right now, they will inevitably fall at some point due to erosion, changes in weight distribution, or an earthquake or other natural disaster. As a result, the fact that one exists at all tells scientists that their location has not experienced any major disturbances for as long as the rock formation has existed. This can help scientists in determining other facts about the area's geography. However, one pervading issue with PBRs is that it's not often nature but humans that get the better of them. That's because there are some people out there that think that pushing them over is entertaining, not realizing or caring that this has implications on scientific research. As a result, although jail sentences can be imposed if you're caught doing it, people pushing over PBRs will likely continue to be a problem for years to come. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.